Safe like that I've been around forever. <clears throat> but the best part of the whole career was the last 40 years. That's all I have to say. That's, that's great. I really, I was surprised. I didn't hear it. Because, like I told them, I'm not a steel man. I've lived here for 30 years, and I guess they consider me one. But I am a, a veteran. And brought the grill in the I'm house proud and that they selected me to be honored today. It's important that people remember the veterans and honor them. It's something where you just don't throw it away like an old piece of paper. And I'm glad to see that more and more of that's happening. It's like I told him that at the end of the Vietnam War, it was terrible. Veterans are spit on and uh, not taken care of properly. Now that has all changed. Veterans are getting a lot more recognition. Mm -hmm. A lot more people are saying thank you for your service. Mm -hmm. and it's really appreciated. It's, it's important to honor veterans all across the United States. Like I said in my closing remarks, you know, at some point in time, uh, a veteran, whether they're discharged, whether they're deceased, whether they're active, whether they're reserved, whether they're national guard, uh, they at one point in their life wrote a blank check to the United States of America, um, and up to and including the amount of their life. So it's always, especially we do have active military all across this world, and it's very important to keep everybody abreast that what they're giving up, the commitment and sacrifice that they're giving for their we'll country. never forget. It, has, it had to be done. And Mr. Brigham, who gave so much service to the United States military and civil service in his employment afterwards, and his, active, his activities in the post, the American Legion post, uh, here in Steelton and another one, it's very important that, it was very important that we just didn't let this slip by and wait till next year. We wanted to do it as soon as we could.